This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Engineering night at Big Ben's STEM Center on Thursday gave college and high school students a chance to learn about future career opportunities. A Grays Harbor family was found safe after missing for two days in the woods. A school district in Portland is taking steps to protect undocumented students from deportation. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Engineering night at Big Ben's STEM Center on Thursday gave college and high school students a chance to learn about future career opportunities. Engineering students and high school students interested in the field listened to presentations from local engineers, including representatives from RAC Silicon, IBEW Union, Genie Industries, and the Vantage Data Centers. Also included was a panel discussion in STEM-related programs, giving students the opportunity to ask questions and explore various employment opportunities. Representatives from Washington State University, WSU Tri-Cities, University of Idaho, and Seattle University were on hand with information on their own engineering programs. Attendees were also able to learn about Big Ben's Unmanned Aerial Systems Program, the Engineering Club, and Running Start. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. I found uh, some people in the woods, McAllister. A couple of hunters found Jason McAllister, daughter Lauren, wife Melissa, and baby daughter Nady walking down a logging road after spending two nights lost. Everybody's good. God's great. Happy to be alive. Jason says they all went for a ride up into the Olympic foothills Tuesday morning when a downed tree blocked their path. The van got stuck trying to go around. The four set out on foot. It got dark on us, so we spent the night on the side of the road after I made a shelter. He said he tied some fir boughs together and they snuggled up against a granite wall. This one is a trooper. Obviously, she's wearing her Halloween costume. The eight month old is this with mom most of the time. You know, mom had her inside her coat and stuff like that. And skin to skin type of stuff. During the whole ordeal, that was the only time he had doubts that they'd survive. Maybe the night that we spent on the side of the road, I was more worried about the wife and the babies freezing to death or something. The second night, they got back to the van, turned the heat on, watched DVDs, listened to radio reports that they were being searched for, and survived on candy. She was rooting around in the van, found all kinds of Halloween candy. Here at the search base, the sheriff's office is glad that Jason kept his cool and used his survival instinct. He did a tremendous job at maintaining his composure. And the sheriff's office glad that hunting season started today, with so many people in the woods looking for game and looking for the McAllisters. There was tons of people out there, and that's probably what helped them be located. In Montesano, Keith Eldridge, Como News. Alina. Voting yes. Thank you. Thank you. The Portland Public School Board unanimously passing a measure to protect school children from immigration raids. Schools are a place to learn, are a place of knowledge, are a place where the kids are safe. Now the likelihood of immigration officers storming schools to deport children is almost non-existent, say some school officials, but still, they want safeguards just in case. There isn't a high level of concern, that would be unusual, but under certain circumstances, they can. Now under the five-point plan, any immigration officer would need to go through the district and superintendent before ever stepping foot on a campus, and that officer would need to give credentials and written authorization of their intent. Now, the measure also prohibits teachers and staff from asking children about their legal status, along with staff training in the event an officer enters a school anyway. It's more of reinforcing, you know, the, the policies and, and what the law says right now um, and um, ensuring that we will do everything to protect that sanctity of our school. While the school board is not expecting raids, the resolution is symbolic of their promise to protect children and their education. We have in this country a fundamental core value of educating all kids, and it's beautiful. Upper 50s to start the week. Hi, Jeff Slakey from the iFiber One Weather Center taking a look at the basin's forecast. 
Near 60 for your Monday with partly cloudy skies. May see a little bit of rain through the overnight into Tuesday, where highs are going to be about 56. We're starting to get down into the low 30s over the next couple of days, and by week's end, we could see a little more rain. For iFiber One News, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.